Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Liquor and Tarot. Okay, Emperor. With the Six of Wands, somebody standing in that power. Yes, victory and success coming for you. You might have a big purpose that you're trying to follow here. Like, something to do with self-care, health and wellness. Maybe you have a business like that or you're working on one in spirituality or something like that. Hmm. You got a lot of options coming up. Maybe you got a lot of different ideas. Justice, Libra energy. And the sun, yes, Leo energy, okay. And then the moon, the sun, the moon, and justice, what? Wow, that seems like something completely turning around, going from, well, let's see, Queen of Cups. Hmm. There's some fish there. Sometimes that could indicate a pregnancy. Not all the time, but be careful of that if you're not trying to, <laughs> you know, do that right now. Okay. Um, death. Scorpio energy with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck, which is about like a soulmate. Hmm. Maybe you were inspired by, yeah, some relationship that ended or something. The moon, trying to understand it. Maybe you went through a dark night of the soul. Cancer, Pisces energy, yeah. So now, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm, I feel like you're being inspired somehow by somebody. The Two of Cups. You could be opposite on opposite zodiacs or sister zodiacs or something. The Fool. Wow, somebody feels like a fool for walking away. We got the Fool, the Eight of Cups, which is walking away, the Ace of Cups, and Strength. Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Somebody feels like they walked away from their Two of Cups. Their soulmate. Two of Cups twice. Soulmate, Twin Flame, something like that. The world. So, something ended here. Dang, somebody's happiness ended here. Maybe somebody, um, somebody might just got tired of going through some cycles with somebody, okay? We got, you might be seeing 999. You're very wise. You made the right choice, I feel like, or you're, you're thinking about that choice, maybe. We got the Hermit Virgo energy. And then Gemini energy with that card there. You're thinking about something or somebody. It's definitely somebody. The Emperor again. Hmm. You might be thinking about uh, somebody who passed away. The Nine of Swords. Nine, nine, nine. Whoa. Y'all might see 999. Hmm. Something about how things ended or how things went. Somebody's in regret here. I wish they could go back and do something different. Uh, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. The sun with the chariot. Somebody's moving forward here like happy. This feels like free. Somebody's, <laughs> somebody's. Okay, so you might have ended something here with somebody that ended badly. Maybe. Okay. You got tired of going through the same cycles with this person. Like, they were a soulmate, and you did have a contract with that person, but you just, you got tired of feeling like a, 
I don't know, hamster in the wheel. You're kind of like you're happy now, but maybe you're still looking back. Or that's how this person is. I don't know. I feel like you got single, but... Hmm. Yeah, you're thinking about the past. Or somebody from the past is thinking about you with the Six of Cups here. Somebody's thinking about how you made them happy in the past. The sun again. Dang, you might have red hair. Somebody might have red hair. Or this little blondish color. But yeah, maybe blue. We got blue hair here and brown. So you can pretty much have hair. <laughs> a joke all right somebody was moving slowly in the past with the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck taurus virgo capricorn this person feels like they missed their opportunity with you or your yeah they didn't do something right they feel like and that's what they might be up at night thinking about they did something wrong yeah, so they may come to you with some kind of offer here with the Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Coins in this deck, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm, Five of Cups. You may get a message from this person, like with this Page of Wands. They've been, they might tell you they've been watching you or they want to know what's up with you. <laughs> Dang. The five of cups here, like, oh, they're haunted by this something. What are they haunted by? What are they haunted by? Judgment. They made a bad judgment call. Or maybe that's you. It could always be reversed, you know. But just figure out where you fit in. If you do, if this is for you. Okay, so we got Justice, the Star, and Three of Swords. So... Libra, Aquarius. That's, and then the Three of Swords. Hmm. Dang. Somebody. We got a Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Like, somebody wants to fight for this. Somebody wants to fight for it. And somebody don't. Somebody feels like they're tired of fighting for it. We got the five of wands. So the five of cups, the five of wands, four of wands. Shoot. Somebody felt like they were getting manipulated. And they're tired of it. Maybe somebody feels bad about the manipulation. I don't know. Maybe somebody was uh, with the strength card. Maybe somebody was kind of a, had a stronghold over somebody. Leo energy. Um, the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Eight of Cups. See, this Ace of Cups, I felt like it was in reverse, but I flipped it over the other way. So it could be in reverse, like... Somebody don't have a hold on somebody no more. And this person, somebody's walking away. Oh, we got the devil and the fool, the chariot, and the king of cups, and the moon. Dang. Somebody's moving in silence, it looks like. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's moving in silence. Okay, you got the wild card. You are a badass being full of love, life, and possibilities. You're going to get through this, but like the king of swords and the king of pentacles. Stay balanced and focused right now. Yeah, stay balanced and focused. Maybe that's why the sun and the moon came out because you're having to time things. Hmm. Four ones with the magician again. Yeah, somebody's definitely like feels like okay, I'm tired of being manipulated. That's somebody. Or okay, we got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius with the lovers. Shoot. All right. 
right, let's see. The Page of Wands. Now, that was at the bottom of the deck just now. Somebody's going to get some good news from somebody or some news from somebody about a a lover. Um, Gemini. We got, I'm a, we got all the Zodiacs out there. <laughs> okay. The lovers again. So, Gemini energy again. So, this is heavy Gemini energy. Okay. Then over here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Eight of Wands, a message. Three of Pentacles or somebody's looking at a message. Something like that. <gasps> no freaking way. The Devil and the Hang One. Capricorn and Pisces. Oh, me. Somebody can't let it go. It's like somebody seen the message. Yeah. Somebody was like watching 11, 11 on the clock. Somebody was looking into, you know, maybe somebody's phone. I don't know. Wait a minute. No, that ain't the one with the phone. But, yeah, it's like somebody seen something. The devil again. More Capricorn energy, but... Yeah. What is going on? The dinosaurs, they can't forget about what they saw, so they're like not getting over it. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So you could definitely have a kid with this person. Ooh, this is wow. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so the Queen of Swords with the Three of Wands, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me pull some from another deck because this is giving me some. We got Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I will be careful right now about um, this message keeps coming through. <laughs> I'm getting tired of saying it, but look, it's coming through for personal readings too. So it's like a lot of, um, well, it's springtime and the earth is fertile during that time, right? Well, so are people. So <laughs> keep that in mind. All right. So let me get some more on this situation, please. <laughs> Damn. We got Cupid's arrow in reverse down here. So, what? Palm tree, stability, security. Yes. Okay. So, I feel like at this time, it's a certain energy, entity, whatever you want to call it, that's kind of got some anger pointed at you. Oh, this could have been somebody you had a just a, a flame with or something like that. Oh, Lord. Twin flames. <laughs> Addiction and girl with a snake. Dang. Hmm. Maybe she thinks you're her twin flame. the sword and the rose or it could go a lot of ways it could have been somebody had a one night stand with somebody and didn't realize that's who they were but you know i mean if that's how they look at them that's how they look at them engagement ring okay so mm, that's pretty weird the snake engaged to the snake come on now no what in the world Healthy choices. Be careful about your choices. Run. What? The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. Okay. Um. Then we got Karmic Relationship. Hand of Cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. Gambling. 
talking, awaited message arrives, text, call, email. Okay, so that's interesting. I was going to do a reading earlier today called somebody's going to send you an emoji or something like that, but that's what that looks like. But um, I was recording one video about you make someone feel like they won the lottery or something like that. And it stopped while I was recording. So I was going to do a part two, but then I was like, nah. So somebody's in some real lucky energy right now. If I feel like I need to do a part two or do another one on that, I will. Okay. I hope this helps some kind of way. But somebody's dealing with a karmic relationship and a twin flame relationship, it looks like. Okay. Okay.